blessings good people listen um i just figured that i'll get on here real quick before i forget um what i had to go through to get my nigerian visitor slash tourist visa yes my husband is nigerian um but we decided to just go ahead and get the tourist visa and go for the nigerian wife uh green card upon getting to night to get into nigeria but this is what i had to go through in order to get my nigerian visa myself now when i first went to nigeria um it was with a group of people and the the two leaders of the mission trip was responsible for getting our visas they must have had connections because um, I didn't know that they had to go through all of this to obtain visas for eight people. But um, my experience has definitely humbled me and, you know, helped me to learn a lot about certain laws and regulations and um, comprehension about uh, Nigerian websites and how things are done there is a little different than America, but you know, I'm grateful for what they're doing as far as making sure that, you know, people like myself want to get a visa to go there. There's different types of visas, um, but this is the visa that I got, which is the tourist uh, uh, slash visitor's visa. I went to the website. Um, the websites are not always accurate, so you have to do a lot of research um, on OIS, uh, which is online integrated services.com. You have to pick which type of visa you want to apply for. I picked the tourist uh, visitor's visa. Then they um, transfer you to another website, which is the visa.immigration.gov.ng. And then you make yourself an account. You put in the type of a visa that you want and then you fill out the information you have to fill out all the information um and then i was not able to make the payment online though it says that you can make the payment online i personally would highly suggest that you say you make the payment at a later date and then when you go to one of the ois service centers um, you make the payment there and they can assist you with that. So that's what I did. I picked the POS option, which is, you know, pay on site. On the website, it says you could pay with money order. There is no way to do that to me because I was unable to find out uh, how to do that on the website. It does not explain as far as what I was able to see. Um, then you make sure you have your checklist. You get the checklist from the OIS um, services online. So you just put OIS services in the Google. It takes you to the website. You put the visa that you want, and then you will see a checklist. Make sure you have everything on that checklist because when you go into the OIS services, they say it's not any walk-in at certain sites. So we had to take a chance. Um, I went to DC first and DC, I was met with a letter on the door saying that we don't, we're not doing any visa um, processing at all with, when the website clearly says that they were. So that was misinformed information. And then for the New York site, I found different information, like they're not processing at all to they are processing. And I just had to like go on faith that they were and sure enough when I got to New York City and got to the OIS service center they were processing and they were doing a great job at doing it my job was to make sure that my application reflect the New York uh, service center so on the visa.immigration.gov.ng website that the OIS service uh, uh, sensor website transfers you to um, you get to indicate what what office that you're going to go to so I did one for Washington DC and I did one for um, New York if those two wasn't gonna work I was gonna do one for Atlanta um, after you pay um, 
online, which there's not really no, it doesn't really work with my car, I guess, because my car has high security and I don't know what else car other people use, but my cards did not work. And when I called and contacted my bank, it still did not work. So like I said, I would say pay at the site. So New York uh, uh, OIS service center, they do take walk-ins, it's for a fee. Um, I needed them to print out some paperwork for me because like I said, I went to Washington DC first. So even though I had my New York application on my phone, I didn't print it. So I needed them to print that. I needed them to print my edited um, letter of invitation from my husband. And I was a walk-in and I had my appointment there, my biometrics where they took my fingerprints and they took a picture of me, they took my passport um, and everything to send to their consulate so they can process everything and put my visa in my passport book. So they were very nice, very professional um, New Yorkers, you know, so I was able to relate very well with them. I'm from Rochester, New York. They're from NYC, even though their people are Nigerian, you know, you could tell that they was raised in New York City. <laughs> so I was very happy to uh, be helped by them because it was like a breath of fresh air. And one of the things that I learned is just listen to your spouse. My husband wanted me to go there first and I was like, no, DC has a lot of good reviews. I'm gonna go to DC. I'm gonna just get this thing done real quick, real fast, and just go home. You know, New York City, I really didn't want to deal with the traffic because if you've ever been to NYC, the Big Apple, you know, traffic is unbearable. It's a no for me. Too much going on. <laughs> New York, it's been real. New York City, it has been a doozy. But goodbye. People live there you know I mean I think it's really pretty with all the lights and stuff but New York City is just too much for me Rochester New York is slower we're more we're more calm with the traffic I can't handle that because me I like to drive I'm a driver as well for you know my employment I drive that's what I do for a living and I like to move I cannot be held in traffic long like that so what that was one of the big reasons i didn't want to go to new york and you know if you're not careful like you get robbed you know what i'm saying you just gotta be real watchful when you in the city you know and i had to rent a car so i don't want my rental car even though i put all the insurance on there because i don't play that i had to make sure that my rental car was was good that i like that car it had to get me where i had to go so New York City traffic is bumper, bumper to bumper. People like to run in the street, to cross the street. They risk it all every day. I really don't know how they do this every single day, but I guess it takes a special kind of people to be able to, you know, go through that <laughs> every day. I know it just has to be like, they got to muster up some strength to walk out the door because they know what they're going to have to endure to get to A to B. What the heck? <sighs> Anxiety level. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, see ya. <laughs> if you got to go two places in a day there, I just don't know how. But anyway, that's just me. I parked my car in one of the garages. New York City has plenty of plethora of garages parked the car there it was only there for like two three hours probably not even that and it was 61 dollars that's a lot of money just to have to park your car for a little bit but i was like you know what i know what i'm coming here for here's the money give me the car and leaving new york city it took like two hours because of the traffic but you know it made me think and, and i got a revelation out of it sometimes you gotta pick the, the road that's hard, you know, to really get to what you want because the road that's easy was very easy to get to DC. Very calm, very serene, everything is beautiful. Got a lot of nice sights.
nature, all of that. Everything just looked beautiful, you know. The nation's capital. You know? <laughs> um, and I didn't get what I want. Matter of fact, I was blocked, you know what I'm saying? But going to New York City, you know, my state where I live, I live here. So it's like, okay, this is rough. This is hard. But you know, once I opened the door to the office, I, it was an open door. It was an open door. So sometimes we have to pick the road that may be a little rough, you know, and we'll get to where we're going. Because it reminds me of that scripture where it says, uh, let me just get it. Let me just get it because I don't want to butcher it up. Okay. Matthew 7, 13 and 14. This is what it reminded me of or what I went through these past couple of days. Enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go thereat so when the when the gate is wide and the and and broad is the way that leadeth to destru destruction and many there be which go in thereat watch the dc had a whole bunch of reviews many people are going there left and right there was no interviews left they said it was no walk-ins but the interviews i mean the reviews said that they take walk-ins for 80 dollars. you know and then as i go on to read the rest of the scripture that because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth on to life and few there be that find it not many people was going to new york and then people who did go to new york could not find the office they could not <laughs> find an office and then they were frustrated. So the reviews that they left was, it's not there. This is not the address. You know, they really couldn't find it. And when it was my turn to finally go, because my husband said, you will go to New York City, bottom line, like you're going. So I went and on the way there, you know, I was feeling some type of way, but I, at the same time, I'm like, Lord, we walk by faith and not by sight. I believe that you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. I believe, Lord God, you said that without faith is impossible to please you. But you said now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So we're hoping for this substance, you know, and my, my husband just know New York is the he ain't never been in New York. <laughs> but he just know and I'm like, how would he know? But you have to learn to I have to learn. Trust my spouse. You know, just just go do what your husband said. Obey your husband and the Lord. This is right. Obey him. <laughs> so I said, let me obey my husband. Sure enough, I go there to the door. I turn the handle. It opens. People are there. They process and left and right. Just two ladies doing it. You know, I made sure I had all my stuff. I had a couple things on my phone. They had to print it, which was for an extra fee. So my appointment all together came up to 130 and then my visa came up to 160 so that's like 290 that I had to pay but I was so grateful that I did not care so I'm glad that I was able to get what I came for now this scripture right here is basically telling us you know that for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in there at is a lot of people cho chooses to go to a certain path and because many are choosing to go there a lot of other people will see oh it is, this looks easy for them so I will go that way too but it leads to destruction it leads to destruction of all kinds and that's not the way that leads to life in my situation it led to me spending a lot of money that I did not plan on spending I could have saved at least I want to say $300, $400 um, without making that blank trip. I want to say $300 at the most, but I could be exaggerating when I say $400, but still. <laughs> you know, if I just would have went to New York, it would have been boom, boom. But then, you know, but straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth onto life. Few there be that find it. Jesus is what that particular section is talking about Jesus is the way the truth and the life okay everything that the Lord will have us to do you know it comes with some type of lesson it comes with some type of uh, challenge especially if we are choosing to go against it because it's hard for us when we kick against the bricks 
it would have been easier for me to just say, you know what, my husband said go to New York, let me just go to New York. Because at the end of the day, my, hus- my, my husband is going to be backed by God because he's the head. <laughs> I'm not the head. So I can say, I'm just going to go here because of, and God like, your husband is the head. So on the day that you go, it's not going to be available. And on the day that I went, they had the date, the same date on the paper that I went on this day. We are no longer processing visas. I go where my husband says go. Open door. Jesus is the way. The ways of God is the way. And it leads on to life. Life is peace. Life is joyful. Life is good. You know what I'm saying? And Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. And it's sad that it says, and few there be that find it. Why? Because we don't like the rough road. It takes a lot of challenges to become something great. People would rather do the easy road and think that they're going to become great. But nothing is worth having if it comes easy. If it comes easy, it leaves quick. You don't appreciate things that come easy. You appreciate things that you had to work for, where there's some challenges. So I learned a lot over these past couple of days. And one of which I'm glad is listening to my husband. So they helped in me getting the visa. Um, everything is processing well. I'm back home. When I was finally able to go to sleep, I could have slept the whole day today, but I, I have to get up because I have a lot to do tomorrow. <laughs> but I could have slept the whole day today. I got home safe and sound, and I bless God for that. So, yeah, they give you your receipt. They give you your tracking number. They give you the uh, website that you can go on and check on the process of your visa being processed they even email you along and they carry you along the process now when you bring your envelope you can bring it your priority envelope i I bought an overnight one don't play with me as soon as you're done as soon as you get it and mail it i should be getting it to the next day because that's what i paid for <laughs> so, when you bring that envelope you can have a choice to pick it up though like you can you know not choose to have it mailed but picked up for me i want it mailed though i don't want to drive again to new york this city <laughs> so i know that it will be with me very soon and i'll be back um to give my testimony of that and show it like i'm out you know i got my visa yada 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 but new york ois service center does accept walk-ins if and I would just my me personally I would have everything printed out um get a couple prints if that's what you need to do because sometimes people can lose stuff make sure you have an envelope that you want things uh mailed back to you or if you want to pick it up um and if they if they have to print out anything that's gonna be 25 extra dollars so I would say have everything printed out so that way some of the charges can be off they walk in it's fifty dollars and then the appointment is i can't remember what what the appointment is because you're going to walk in that's that's extra money right there and then the appointment is money but if you want to have something printed out on top of that that's money and like i said mine came up to 130 all together with that and then i had to pay for my visa because i couldn't do it online so i picked the pos option And when I told the lady that I couldn't do it online, she was like, that was God looking out for you. And it it blessed me because what if it did go through and then all my stuff is on the web? I don't want to, I don't trust that. So I was glad that she said that was God looking out for you. Pick the POS. They have a way for you to pay. They'll take your fingerprints, take a picture of you and stuff. Make sure that you have all your paperwork. It's a, it's a checklist on the OIS service uh, website that tell you all the stuff that you need to have when you pick the visa and and the process center that you want to go. I chose um, the one that helped me was the New York one and that's on Lexington Ave. I think 37 Lexington, when you walk in, it looks like a hotel. There's a man right there. He's gonna ask you your name. You show him where you're trying to go. He's gonna direct you 
excuse me, to the sixth floor. It's gonna be room 613. They're open Monday through Friday, nine to five. They do have their lunch break, I believe. So that's if they choose to, because the day I went, they didn't even have lunch. This is how dedicated they were to making sure that people had their stuff because they know, and this is what they said, they know it's peak season, this is holiday season, people wanna go home. So they're working, they're working, they're doing more actually than what they have to do to help to make sure that people are getting their visa so they can go home and be with their family. And that's why I believe that God will bless them because that work was like hard. Like you, you're dealing with all types of different people and everybody wants their visa to go home. Everybody has, things that they have to do to go home. People have to bury their loved ones. People have to attend a wedding. People have to uh, go and check on the house that they're probably building. There's probably problems in the family or, or a child that they have to go check on and make sure that they're okay. It's so much things going on and they're just doing their job, but they're doing above and beyond. So that's why my review is good for the New York OIS Service Center um, 370 Lexington. I'm gonna make sure I put everything in the description box and I'll be back when I get my visa. Take care and God bless.